For today's project, we'll be making a really pretty cocktail dress that is shimmery and glittery, perfect for that special holiday occasion. And if you're new here, welcome to my channel and I would really love it if you would subscribe so you'd get all my latest videos right in your inbox. For today's project, I'm using a category 4 yarn. I'm using Cotton Creme by Loops and Threads in the color light grey. And I'm also using the Red Heart Super Saver Metallic Yarn in the color silver or light grey. We will need a 5mm hook, some stitch markers, measuring tape, a pair of scissors, a darning needle, and optionally you could also include some decorative bead. With our 5mm hook, we'll first take our silver yarn and work up some chains. This chains will be the length from our shoulders all the way down to our mid thigh and we'll work up the number of chains required for that length. Here, I have worked up a total of 120 chains. On that last chain, we'll work one chain to start a new row. Now, on that second chain from our hook, we'll work a single crochet. So we'll continue working single crochet stitches on each chain all the way across, and I'll meet you back here at the end of this row. On the last row, we'll chain one to turn. And on the second row, we'll be working half double crochet stitches through that front post. So we'll yarn over, insert a hook through the back of that first post stitch and work a half double crochet. Now let's do that again. This is the second stitch. We'll insert a hook through to the third stitch. We'll drop a loop and we'll work a half double crochet. So this would be your second half double crochet front post stitch. Let's do that one more time. This is the third stitch, so we'll insert our hook through that third stitch, through to the fourth stitch behind the post and work up a half double crochet. Continue working this half double crochet front post stitch all the way across. Once we've reached that last stitch, let's do one more half double crochet front post stitch together. We'll drop a loop, yarn over, pull through three, and to complete the same number of stitches, we'll work one regular half double crochet while changing yarns. So while we have three loops on our hook, we'll pick up the light gray yarn and we'll pull through all three loops. We'll chain one, snip off the silver yarn, we'll turn our work and you can see that pretty knit like stitches we just did there with a half double crochet front post stitch. Now for the next row we'll be working single crochet stitches but we'll also be carrying along the excess tail. So we'll carry the excess tail in between our stitches, like so, and we'll work that single crochet stitch. Continue to single crochet along this entire row while hiding the excess tail in between your stitches. Therefore, there'll be no weaving in any excess yarn throughout this entire project. Once we've completed the single crochet stitches, we'll chain one, we'll turn our work, and we'll work another set of single crochet stitches along this entire row. And I'll meet you back here to change yarns. On that last stitch, we'll drop a loop, and we'll pick up our silver yarn. We'll pull through two loops, We'll chain one, snip off the gray yarn, carry the two excess tails and work a single crochet stitch. Drop a loop and pull through two. Continue single crochet stitches along this entire row and I'll meet you back here again to change yarns.
On that last stitch, we'll drop a loop, pick up our light gray yarn, pull through two, chain one, we can snip off the silver yarn and turn our work. On this row, we'll be working a half double crochet front post again. So I've picked up my two yarn tails and placed my hook behind the first front post. Drop a loop and pull through all loops. We'll continue working the half double crochet front post stitch along this entire row. And I'll meet you back here at the end of this row to start the next set of rows. On that last row, we'll work our front post half double crochet stitch and one half double crochet stitch. To even out the numbers, we'll chain one and turn our work. From here, after working a half double crochet front post, we will continue to work two rows of half double crochet stitches. So here's our first half double crochet stitch row, and I'll meet you back here at the end of the second row. Here we have our two rows of half double crochet stitches. On that last stitch, we'll prepare to change yarns again. So we'll pick up our silver yarn, pull through all three loops, and chain one. So every time we switch to our silver yarn, that would mark the beginning of a new set of rows. We'll chain one, we'll pick up the tail, and just like we did before, we'll work one single crochet on each stitch across and I'll meet you back here at the end of this row. On that last stitch, we'll draw up the light gray yarn, pull through the last stitch, chain one to turn. So we've basically finished our first set, which is the last four rows that we worked on, which is a front post half double crochet, followed by two rows of half double crochet, and you'll switch yarns to the silver yarn and work one single crochet. So we'll be repeating this four rows as a set until we've reached our desired width for the first half of the front panel and I'll meet you back here once that's done. Once we've completed all the rows for the first half of the panel, here I've worked up a total of seven set rows. And as you can see, the front side would show you this knit-like stitches on the silver yarn. Next, we'll be working on the shoulder strip. So we'll insert our hook through the first stitch at the top. You should be facing the right side of the panel. We'll draw up a silver yarn. Chain one, carry our tail with us, and we'll work single crochet stitches. Now we'll work single crochet stitches evenly across this row and I'll meet you back here once that's done. Before completing the entire row, and this is optional, you can carry the tail from the last stitch that we did, bring it forward and single crochet around it. So this will reduce one more step of weaving in ends. Snip off the excess tail and there you go. 
we'll chain one, we'll turn our work, and on this row, we'll be working the half double crochet front post. So just like we've done before, we'll insert our hook behind the first post and work a half double crochet. We'll continue to work the front post half double crochet stitch all the way across this row. On that last stitch, we'll work our last half double crochet front post stitch. And we'll finish off with one half double crochet stitch. We'll chain one, we'll turn our work, and we'll repeat the last two rows of single crochet and front post half double crochet. And I'll meet you back here once that's done. On the last row of the front post half double crochet, we'll finish off with one half double crochet, chain one, and bind off. And this is how the finished shoulder strip should look like. Now we'll proceed to making the second front panel. We'll turn to the foundation row side and we'll place a stitch marker where we would like our neckline to end. I measured approximately 9 inches or 23 centimeters from the top, so that would be about 32 stitches. So I placed my stitch marker there and I would insert my hook. And with the silver yarn, we'll draw up a loop. We'll chain one to secure. And we'll chain the same number of stitches as we skipped on the first panel. So here, I'll be working 32 chains. Once I've completed all the chains that I need, I'll chain one to start a new row. And on that first stitch, I'll work a single crochet. We'll continue to single crochet along this entire chain. And I'll meet you back here once we've reached the body panel. And this is our first row of the second panel and we'll continue by working on that first joining stitch that we did earlier we'll work that one single crochet stitch and continue doing this across this row just make sure before you continue this row that you're facing the right side of the body panel Continue to single crochet along this row and I'll meet you back here at the end of the row. Once you've completed that last stitch, we'll chain one and we'll continue to work the same number of stitches as we did on the first panel, but on a mirror image. So we'll work the first set of single crochet followed by the second set of half double crochet stitches all the way through the end. Now let's do the first row together. We've chained one, we'll turn our work. And on this row, still with the silver yarn, we'll work that front post half double crochet by working behind that first post. We'll do this all the way across and you'll complete the exact number of rows as you did on the first panel. And I'll meet you back here once you've completed the entire second panel. Here we have both panels completed and we'll now do the shoulder strips together, just as how we did earlier on the other side. We'll take the silver yarn and insert our hook through that first row. We'll drop a loop, chain one, carry the tail along, and work single crochet stitches along this entire row. Once we've completed the first row, we'll proceed to work the front post half double crochet stitch on the second row and repeat the last two rows and I'll meet you back here once that's done. And this is how the shoulder strip should look like. You've just completed the front panel. Now let's continue to work on the back panel. We'll take our silver yarn and we'll work the same number of chains as we did on the front panel. We'll chain one to start the next row. And on the second chain from the hook, we'll work a single crochet and we'll work single crochet stitches along this chain. On that last stitch, we'll work one single crochet by drawing up the light gray yarn 
to close that stitch. We'll chain one to turn. And on this row, we'll work a half double crochet front post stitch. Let's snip off that excess yarn first. Yarn over, pick up the two yarn tails and insert your hook through the first and second stitch behind the post and work that front post half double crochet stitch. And since you know how to do the stitch already, continue to work this front post half double crochet stitch all the way across. On that last stitch, complete that last stitch with a half double crochet front post stitch followed by one half double crochet stitch. We'll chain one, we'll turn our work and this is the front side and just like how we did on the front panel, we'll work two rows of half double crochet. You know this already. So we'll just do that together for the first few stitches and I'll meet you back here once we've completed the second half double crochet row. Now on that last stitch, we'll get ready to switch yarns, draw a silver yarn. We'll pull through that three loops, chain one, snip off the yarn. We'll turn our work. We'll pick up the two yarn tails and work a single crochet for this row. Do this for each stitch across and I'll meet you back here once that's done. Here we've just completed our first set and basically repeat the last four rows until you've reached the first half of the back panel, which is also the exact same number of rows as you did on the front panel. And I'll meet you back here once that's done. Here we've just completed our first back panel. And just like the front panel, we'll place a stitch marker where the neckline would meet. We'll insert our hook and this will be on the right side on the foundation row. We'll pick up a silver yarn and we'll work the same number of chains as we did on the front panel. This is a foundation row for the second panel. I'll chain one to start my second row and work single crochet stitches along this chain. And this is how the chain row should look once I've reached the body panel. Again, just to make sure you're facing the right side, I'll continue my single crochet stitches by inserting my hook through that joining stitch and I'll single crochet across all the way to the end. Now my next stitch will be a front post half double crochet stitch. So I'll switch yarn to close my last stitch, chain one, snip off the excess yarn, yarn over, pick up the excess tail and work a front post half double crochet stitch all the way across and repeat the entire steps as I did on the first back panel and complete the same number of rows and I'll meet you back here once that's all done. So we've just completed our back panel. Now we lay them down together with the front panel and make sure that the right side is facing inward. So now you're looking at the wrong side. 
you'll be able to see that the knit leg stitches will be on the other side now we'll be seaming the shoulders so we'll pick up both panels together we'll place our hook on the first row through both panels together and we'll pick up the silver yarn chain one to secure we'll work around the tail and work single crochet stitches on both panels together all the way across and I'll meet you back here once that's done on that last stitch we'll just chain one to secure and bind off And this is how it should look like on the wrong side and we'll repeat the exact same thing on the other side insert our hook to that first row we'll drop the silver yarn chain one to secure and single crochet each stitch across Once we've completed seaming up the shoulders, fold the shoulder strap in half so that it would align the front and back panel together. So I place the stitch marker on the 28th stitch from the top and I've also placed another stitch marker 10 stitches from the bottom to create a slit. Now we'll be working on seaming the sides. So we'll insert our hook through that first stitch marker at the top. You can remove that stitch marker. And we'll take the silver yarn, drop a loop, chain one to secure. We'll just work single crochet stitches on each stitch on both the front and back panel together. And we'll single crochet all the way until we reach the next stitch marker. And don't forget to also carry along the tail and single crochet around it. So once we've reached that last stitch marker, we'll just chain one to secure and bind off. And now we'll do the exact same thing on the other side and I'll meet you back here to do the sleeves. And once we're done, we'll turn our work inside out. So we'll be facing the right side now. And looking at the last stitch that we've worked on here, my last stitch is the silver single crochet stitch row. I'll continue working on my stitch pattern set by turning my work facing the wrong side. I'll be working along the seams just to hide any imperfections. So my next row would be a front post half double crochet. So I'll take my light gray yarn I'll drop a loop and I'll work that front post half double crochet stitch. So we'll chain one to secure, we'll yarn over and we'll insert our hook through the first and second stitch, drop a loop and work that half double crochet. We'll continue doing this until we reach the shoulder strip and I'll meet you back here once we're there. Once we've reached the shoulder strip, we'll work regular half double crochet stitches evenly across the strip. So I have worked a total of five half double crochet stitches along the strip And then on the following stitch, we'll continue the front post half double crochet stitch. And I'll meet you back here to join in the round. Once 
once we've completed all the stitches, this is our last stitch. We'll work one regular half double crochet on that last stitch. And this is our first stitch that we did earlier. We'll insert our hook and work a slip stitch. Chain one, return your work. So this is the joining stitch that we did earlier. We'll insert a hook through that first stitch after the joining stitch and work our half double crochet stitch. We'll continue working this half double crochet stitch for two rows and I'll meet you back here at the end of the second row. This is the second half double crochet row that you already know. Now we'll be joining the silver yarn for the next row. We'll pick up the silver yarn and we'll pull through two loops to slip stitch to close the round. Chain one and turn your work. This row would be the single crochet row. Now this is our slip stitch and this typically would be your first stitch. And this is how it would normally look like if it's just one yarn. So we'll pick up the tail and we'll insert our hook through that space and work a single crochet. And because you already know how to do this four rows, we'll be repeating these four rows for as many rows as you need to make the length of the sleeve that you like. I have worked a total of five sets which reaches my elbow. And once you've completed all your number of rows, I'll meet you back here to reduce the stitches. Now this is my last set, which I'm ending on a single crochet silver row. I've done five sets in total. You should also be facing the right side on this last two rows. Now on the next row, we'll be reducing the number of stitches. So I'll chain one to start a new row and I'll be working single crochet two together. So I'll drop a loop on my first and second stitch, yarn over and pull through all loops. And that's a single crochet two together. We'll do this all the way in the round, single crochet two together, and I'll meet you back here to close. So if you don't have an even number, that's fine. We'll just work one single crochet on that last stitch and we'll slip stitch to close the round. And this is how the row should look like. And now we'll be working on our last round. We'll chain one and we'll single crochet two stitches together so you already know how to do this. Now do this in a round and I'll meet you back here again to close that row. I have one stitch left, so I'll work one single crochet and slip stitch to close. Chain one to secure and bind off. Your finished sleeve should be all poofy at the bottom and that completes the sleeve. So we'll repeat this entire process again on the other side and then we'll work on edging the bottom of the dress. Now turn your work to the bottom of the dress. As you can see, the slit ends with a single crochet silver yarn. So we'll continue this single crochet stitches along the edge. So you insert your hook through that first row, pick up our silver yarn, 
drop a loop, pick up the tail, chain one, and we'll work single crochet stitches evenly across the row. I'll be inserting my hook through that space that I see through each row and I'll be working my single crochet through that space. Now we'll do this all the way across and I'll meet you back here at the end of this row. On that last stitch, if your last body panel was not a silver stitch, then you'd continue to single crochet along the slit and proceed to the back. But if your slit is already a silver stitch, then you'll just bind off and you've completed one side of the body panel and then you'll insert your hook through the back panel and repeat the single crochet stitch all along the edge again. And once that's done, we've pretty much finished our dress, but then next we'll work on the ties around the neck, but that is optional and completely up to you. So here, I'm facing the back side of the body panel and I'll be working ties. I'll insert my hook through that last row of the shoulder strip and I'll pick up my silver yarn. I'll be pulling two arms length worth of yarn. See, this is how long it should be. And with my left hand, I will be pulling that corner through the stitch at the tip of the shoulder strip. Now I'll hold on to that bottom yarn and I'll be working an eye cord. So I'll wrap the bottom of the yarn from the front to the back of the hook, yarn over and pull through two loops. We will wrap the yarn from the front to the back, yarn over and pull through two. Wrap the yarn, pull through two. So we'll be repeating this stitch all the way till the end until we're out of yarn. Once we've reached the end of the yarn, we'll snip it off and pull through that tail. Now we'll be working a knot, but again, this is optional. If you have some really pretty decorative beads, you could use that as well. So here I have some silver beads and I'll take a really narrow crochet hook and I will drop the tail through the bead. I'll work up a knot to secure. Snip off the excess tail. And this is how your tie should be. Now we'll just repeat the whole process again on the other side. And here I've completed two ties and you've just completed your cocktail dress. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. And if you have any questions, please do drop me a comment below. I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up so I'll be able to make more videos for you and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye everyone!